Lucas asks, if I make a cash offer and a subject to offer and the seller accepts the cash offer, but I don't have the cash at hand, what should I do? Also, what makes the other type of, what's the other type of offer to make? And whose question was that? T. Lucas. T. Lucas. How are you, T? All right. So here's the answer. If you have used my cost to sell worksheet to arrive at that bottom line cash offer, then you have already allowed for the five points and 15% borrowing. So you can bring that to good old Lou and we will fund it for you. So you don't have to worry about the funding because you already allowed for the cost of the funds right there in your offer. So you use that cost to sell worksheet, get down to that bottom line. That bottom line is the cash offer price. And as long as you accounted for and allowed for the cost of funds in that calculation, then you're good to go. You just call my office and ask Judy for the package and she'll send it to you and you complete that as quickly as possible. Get it back to me. She'll check everything off and make sure that all the, the items that are needed to make a decision are in there. Then she'll send that over to me and we'll make a quick decision for you. And uh, you shouldn't be making both a, uh, a cash offer and a seller finance offer or subject to offer simultaneously. One evolves into the other. I'm guessing he is referring to the fact that there is equity left over. Oh. Is what I'm assuming by his question is there is a subject to portion, but there's probably equity left over after you take off the existing mortgage, which at that point, our strategy is to, well, you don't have to pay all that at closing, do you? That could be paid over time. Very good point. I uh, didn't pick up the question that way. Thank you, Cynthia. Sure. 